three, two, one. All right, good morning class. Today we're going to learn how to compare two fractions with the same numerator by reasoning about their size. First, I want to review. So, if we had the numbers two and two, we can see one, two, one, two, we can see that these are equal. So, we would say, put the equal sign between. Next, we have the numbers three and five. So, we can see one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, we can see that three is less than five. So we would put the less than sign. And then next, we have seven and four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. So we can see that seven is greater than four. So we would put the greater than sign. All right, but a common mistake in comparing fractions is choosing the fraction with the largest denominator to be the largest, largest fraction. Such as, if I give you the fractions 2 fourths and 2 eighths, you may be tempted to say 2 eighths is the larger fraction, but really 2 fourths is. All right, watch me as I compare those two fractions. If I have the fractions 2 fourths and 2 eighths, so let's look at the model 2 fourths. Two out of the four parts are covered. And now the 2 eighth model, you can see that two out of the eight parts are covered. So you can tell that 2 fourths is larger than 2 eighths. Now let's try one together. Let's compare 1 fourth to 1 half. All right, you can see that the denominator is different, but the numerators are the same, meaning the whole is different. Now let's look at a fractional model. These squares are the same size. First, we'll do one fourth. Rectangle will be divided in four equal parts. And since one is a numerator, we'll be covering one part of it. And then we'll do one half, and it'll be separated into two equal parts. And since one is the numerator as well, we'll just cover one part. Can I have a volunteer to show me which one is bigger? Go ahead. Great job. Thanks. Now, I want you all to try it by yourself. Here are two fractions. One eighth and one fourth. Which one is bigger? Can you guys tell me if it's greater than, less than, or equal to one fourth? Stephanie? One eighth is Awesome. All right. So we learned this because comparing fractions can be used for your everyday life. And tomorrow we'll be going over comparing fractions and word problems. Can you tell a partner what you've learned today? Now I want you all to try something on your own. Here's a worksheet with four different problems. Find which fraction is greater and turn it in when you're finished.